We're going to make a simple knob based on a geometry we already have from a 1024 by one inch machine screw. We'll start by drawing a sketch and we'll choose our front plane to draw the sketch. We're going to reference the origin here and revolve a part around the origin. Here are the dimensions of our bolt. We're going to focus on the major diameter and we're at about 0.186 to 0.19 depending on the, the bolt. So double check the measurement. We'll start by creating a line and I'll coincident it to the origin. I'll make sure that it's vertical and I will connect it one time over. I'd like to dimension these to get started. So I'll mark dimension. The bolt is one inch and depending on the material, we need to subtract that. When we put the bolt in as a knob, the material is gonna sit right here and we'll put the nut on this end. So we need to subtract that amount for our knob. The material that I'm using is 0.18, so I'm going to subtract that from my 1 inch. That should be the total length of my knob. And this space here to make the hole is going to be half the diameter of, or the radius, of my actual bolt. So in this case, it's 0.186 over 2. This gives me a space to revolve around. From here, I can create my profile. So I'm going to draw a simple shape, or I'll connect a triangle. And I can set my dimensions. I'd like the total width of my part. to be no bigger than a half an inch. So that's where I can set that total distance. Right here, I'm actually gonna add another section because I think that's gonna be too sharp of a point. So I'll delete this line. And I'm going to make this line connect now to this line. That'll give me a little more meat to sit on the front of the drawer that I'm creating for whatever you're making the knob for. And I'll set this distance to an eighth. Feel free to play around with the values depending on what you'd like. I'm fully defined. So now I'm going to exit my sketch. And I'll go to my features menu. I'll click revolved boss base. And for my sketch contours, I'll use this. That's my basic shape of my knob. And just hit check. Now I've got the appropriate hole and a 2D profile to continue to create my knob shapes. On the fat end, I'm going to create a cut for the nut. So I'll go to my sketch menu, sketch on this face. And here I'll select my polygon tool. I've already put everything on the origin, so I'll just dimension out my part. If I go back to my drawing, I can see that it's 0.367 from flat to flat. So I'll smart dimension flat to flat, 0.367. You're welcome to go a little smaller if you want to press fit it or uh, depending on the material you're using, glue it in. The last step here is to make sure that this stays stationary. If you notice, we can move the uh, polygon around. So an easy way to set that is to click one of your lines and set a vertical or horizontal. I'll set a vertical, and that should set my whole uh, polygon shape. I'll exit my sketch. I'll go to Features. I'm going to rotate my view a little. I will do extruded cut, and I'm going to extrude that 
the thickness of my net. That's 0.122. And I have completed a simple knob where the machine screw will come through this side with my material here. The nut will hang here and I can tighten the knob onto the screw through the back. Don't forget to save. And if you'd like to 3D print your part, when you do save as, change your dropdown to STL. You're welcome to select options and change some of the STL uh, portions, but make sure that you're in the right dimensions. That's really important here for the most part. Everything else should work out just fine. You can hit OK, and then you can save as an STL. And we'll say yes. All bodies, since we only have one, and hit OK. And now we have an STL that's ready to be printed.